Hey everyone, it's Susie with Dragonfly Bees. I'm an online reseller, primarily in jewelry. I sell on Poshmark, Macari, and Etsy. And in this video, I will, it's part two of the unboxing of the purchase I made from shopgoodwill.com. It is an assorted fashion jewelry resale grab bag. So, um, everything is for sale at discounted subscriber rates. If you're familiar with my format, I do provide the prices on the screen. So if there's anything of interest, all you need to do is email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com. There's also a flat fee for shipping uh, of $5 under one pound. And everything is also in the description box below. So check that out too, because there's also helpful links that you might um, like to look at. So let's continue and see what else I have. So um, this is the second part of the purchase I made from shopgoodwill.com. There is a lot left. So I don't know. I think this is going to be part two and there may be there may be a third part. So, all right, let's begin. All right, to start off, I grabbed a whole bunch of uh, bracelets out and found this guy. Look at him. What kind of sea creature are you? Let's take a close look. He's got really beautiful blue rhinestones all around and I gotta say I believe they're all there this is a clamper bracelet and if you look at the sides you see there's detailing the scales of his body and it goes all around his mouth is open he's got this expression, I don't know. He's got a dorsal fin and the tail is the other part of the clamp. So it's like that bypass um, design. Looking inside, it's super clean. It's in great condition. Now, let's open him up. Okay. Um, hmm. There it is. Very nice. Really new. Um, I don't know what he is. Uh, he's a big, long, fishy clamper bracelet. Next is this really beautiful, look at that pink. Um, I guess it's Mother of Pearl. And there's this gold design throughout. I mean, the pink, you know, the pink and gold look really nice together. Um, it's, uh, let's see, brass or copper inside. But it just looks really pretty on, on the outside. Round, pink and gold bangle. Next, we have this gold tone, slightly open clamper bracelet. Very wide cuff. It has these, um, you notice, pointed, kind of like darts with rhinestones. All right, we're missing some. Uh, I see two missing here. It has some... Um, some scratches and it's a uh, Victoria Victoria's Secret um, gold tone cuff clamper with a couple of missing rhinestones next up is this um, vintage white beaded well maybe you think it is vintage did they make this type of bracelet back then? 
Um, I gotta say it's really wide. Is this a bracelet or a necklace? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> it could be a uh, choker. Oh my god. I guess so. It was in the bracelet lot um, bin. I guess I mistakenly put it there. But take a look at this. It's uh, enamel. And um, I wonder if it's chipped. You know what? I think it's chipped. Look at that. All those petals are missing. Oh, well. Guess what? It's going to the craft lot. Oh, wow. It says Japan on the back. And this feels like a, like a, um, I don't know, clay. Oh, well, this would have been nice, but too bad. This is going into a craft lot. I create five pound craft lots um, of various types. And I sell them on Macari and on Etsy as crafting supplies. So this, this one will probably go into a vintage jewelry craft lot. So, yeah, that's where it's going. Okay, this one here is silver tone. It looks like a Spidel wristband, but it's not, like, super flexible. And it has these really nice, polished um, gold tone Xs going around and even um, some nice, substantial, uh, striped gold tone end, ends. I don't see, I don't see a maker's mark, but this is in great condition. Um, not bad. A little too big for me. Um, but yeah, very pretty bracelet. Next we have this one. It's a um, copper, copper bracelet, I believe. It's got like these um, like diamond cuts on the the hem, because <laughs> it gives it that very shiny look. And there's this a um, design, very, I don't know, Aztec. Southwestern. Yes, that's the word I was thinking about. And you even have these designs here. And in the center is um, Mr. Turtle. So yeah, this one is a very nice, very new copper turtle open cuff bracelet. Next up is this really pretty um, round clamper bracelet. It has black enamel with uh, ivory flowers and they're outlined in gold tone and there's some um, rhinestone sporadically around. Let's take a look. Really pretty. So inside looks really good. Oh, there's a maker's mark. Where, okay. Um, what does that say? It says B J. Oh, this is a, a Betsy Johnson. This is a Betsy Johnson black enamel clamper um, bracelet. So, I believe this is like the longest chain that I ever found in any jewelry box. It's um, silver tone, very slinky, very nice. Um, okay, so here, let me show you. Keeps on going and going and going and going. This goes down to right above my knee. I mean, I, I, I don't know, but look what's at the end. What is this? This is huge. It's got this um, 
geometric shape. It's like a piece of uh, acrylic. It has the bell on top. This uh, triangular plate inside. Well, no, it's on the outside here, but then, oh, okay. You can see it from the back that it's glued on, I guess. Here's the bottom. I don't see um, any damage to this uh, piece. It's just a very unusual uh, piece of jewelry. I guess it was very innovative for the time because this is a vintage piece. If you look at the end, there is a spring clasp and a jewelry tag. Now, everyone knows that that jewelry tag is Trafari, I believe. So I, um, this is something I'm going to uh, look up and see whether or not this pendant is actually a um, Trafari piece. Like I said, it's just crazy long and very unusual. Okay, since we're doing slinky, uh, here's another piece with the same type of chain. This is in a really bright yellow gold tone. This is vintage as well. There is a fold over clasp. I don't see a maker's mark on this, um, but it's, it's quite a nice piece. It's in really good condition. There is a pendant, which is quite heavy. It's a polished circle with a a V and the second strand is longer. Um, I don't know who makes this. Okay, this is the back. The back, okay, fine. There is some wear, um, but nothing uh, major. And yeah, this is definitely um, a nice classic piece of jewelry in great vintage condition. Okay, here's another vintage piece, really beautiful blue. Uh, these blue um, beads are glass, and these I believe are not the clear uh, bicone faceted beads. It is quite long. There is no, um, there's no clasp or anything, so this is something you place over your head as well. Uh, one thing I, I do whenever I see beads and I just gently take one and touch it on my chin or, or my cheek. And if it's cold, I know it's glass. Really pretty. And it's in, it has like a pearl, um, effect. But it's a very nice vintage necklace. Perfect. Perfect for the upcoming warm weather. Well, since unbagging this grab bag, came across some animals, some cats and fish, and now this huge butterfly. I mean, it's big. And it's on this um, silver tone bead chain with graduating beads. And there's a um, hook closure at the end with the, these gold tone uh, ends, cylinders. So let's take a look at this. It says Margot's Handmade in India. So, all right. This gold, uh, no, uh, silver, silver spacers, 
silver bead spaces in between. And um, yeah, it's kind of like all different colors I'm seeing, unless my eyes are playing tricks with me. I did take a cloth and, and wipe the bottom a little bit just now. And um, yeah, it's, I took one of my sunshine cloths and just wiped that and I see the silver peeking through. So you know what? Why don't we test this? We'll test the butterfly. We'll test one of these beads at the end. I'll take the 18 karat acid. And see what happens. <sighs> Nothing. Okay, not surprised. It's not too heavy. Um, but if you look, there are some designs here. It's got stitches. It looks like stitches. Stitches. It's very crudely um, soldered around um, its frame. But still, it's a pretty cool butterfly. Okay, next uh, grouping is earrings that I found, pairs of earrings, and um, first off we have this vintage pair. This is a screw back. It's a copper back, and they are, they look like to be um, leaves with a little tiny painted design on each of them. It's a uh, enamel, white enamel, and then we have these long dangling earrings with different color bars uh, in gold tone, silver tone, and I guess that's like a copper tone. And then these, oh, these are pierced. And then this pair is a vintage dangly rhinestone earring with a large stone on top. And these are, these are clip-ons. There they are, and that's um that's a green enamel uh, back. It's not verdigris. <laughs> then we have these pretty ones. These are drop earrings in a filigree design with a rhinestone top. Almost looks like a little angel. They are um, pierced post earrings, and it has this uh, little smoky acrylic uh, bottom. Really cute. And yes, all the rhinestones are there. Then you have this pair. Look at this long pair. It's like a long fringe in gold tone and white and gunmetal and brass yeah and that's the back really slinky and then you have these fun ones look at these they're like crystal balls but you can wear them either way because the back has these a, B. Look at that. Can you see? Mm, okay. Shiny. Really shiny rhinestones. And then the front is that clear crystal ball. I think those are fun. And then you have this pair, which is also reversible. This has the um, faux pearl. It looks like a little... Um, petals underneath and then when you turn it around 
you have these pretty flowers in magenta with these great rhinestone centers. So these are really fun earrings. Next, I found these really pretty earrings. They're so classic. They're in this um, like an oval shape and they're bezeled, clear crystal centers. It's on a hook. And then um, they, they, they have some weight to them too. Then I turned them around, took a closer look, and I see the little swan. That's a swan. So, um, yeah, this is something I will also look up because I've never um, seen earrings like this before. And the stone doesn't... Um, I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to look them up. And that way, I could determine um, how to price them. Look at all these seed beads. Took a lot of effort to make this. But it's going to the craft lot because it's missing a bead cap right here. So this one doesn't have one of these. So um, maybe put it in a bead craft lot. Yeah. Okay, more necklaces, more beads. Uh, this one here, white beads, pretty silver spacers, plastic. Um, really nothing wrong. Um, this will go, I could put this into a, a vintage mystery lot. So, this here, little, uh, pearl seed necklace. This will go to a craft lot. This is a, um, another necklace with really pretty AB coated clear beads in that blue tone. This will go to a craft lot. Here's some, I don't know what these are, some sort of nut. Um, pretty though. I also make um, craft lots out of wood beads, seeds, uh, shells, anything organic I guess. This will go to a craft lot and so will this. This one here is missing um, hardware on either side to connect it together but um this one's nice let's see these are real so anyone interested and can fix this um this can go let's take a better look at these um they look to be in great shape you know what i'll put this in the craft lot too so all this craft lot items if if interested this one's a pretty necklace very long multi-strand purple glass beads needs a really good wipe down and and these little discs are kind of um has some wear so this will go into uh the craft lot as well look at this great color these are blue seed beads um it looks to be three strands make up each separate strand and they're twisted really nice and it goes down to okay I'm trying these two beads hold them together and these are really pretty faceted clear um, I believe they're plastic uh, beads and then no more twisting action going you get these fringes let's 
separate them. And they end in this. Isn't this wild? And then each fringe on the bottom has all these separate little beads. Here, here, and then you have these pretty ones on the bottom of each each strand. So this is um this I guess you tie, make a knot. Oh, it fell off the table. Hold on. Ah, this is great. I have a few of these listed in my Etsy shop uh, in other colors, but not as um not as nice as this one. I gotta say. Just really great, let's see, really a great piece, vintage. Um, would you consider this a lariat? Maybe. Ugh. So long. Very nice. Here's another one of those seed bead necklaces um, that will most likely go into a uh, bead lot because it's quite worn. Um, the hardware on the end is like pretty wonky. The bead caps, there's thread sticking out. Yeah, this is nice though. It's in that turquoise um, shade. And it has these really pretty copper um, seed beads throughout. So someone can repurpose this, definitely. Here's another necklace that um, is headed to the craft lot. It's really in bad shape. Uh, there are pretty uh, bead caps here, though. And a really cool pendant. Gorgeous bale. Heavy black stone. But look at the back. Wow. Um, yeah, this is going into the craft lot. Next, we have these really pretty freshwater um, pearl necklaces. So this one here is all in um, that uniform color, which is more like a white, white, white tone. Um, they are freshwater pearls. They are real. There is a lobster clasp, and this is about 13 inches uh, long in length. This here is also um, freshwater pearls, but there's glass beads throughout every um, three pearl intervals. So you look at these. They have like silver and stripes design in them. It's different. And this one also has some seed beads at the end along with a lobster clasp. Now, let me measure this one really quickly. This one is, um, it's about 17 inches long. So you have this one too. Freshwater pearl uh, necklaces. All right, this one here, I am loving it. I love that color of green. It is a um, seed bead multi-strand necklace. And they have these uh, stations that hold them together. I don't know what they're made of, but they're pretty heavy. Um, heavier than wood. But I think this is great. I think this is so nice. Let me measure this one too. Uh, that's 17 inches. So this is a really pretty, like a olive olive green, and there's some browns. Seed bead necklace that you place over your head. It's just really pretty. 
Here's another one, seed beads. But look at this center uh, medallion. Uh, this here looks like dyed halite. It is chips made into this big center design that has an actual uh, bead in the middle. And then it has all these uh, dangling strands underneath it. It's the center point of this here necklace made up of um, seed beads going up the neckline. And then you have this uh, button enclosure at the end and there's three loops here so that's adjustable. Um, this is pretty uh, this is pretty different. That is the back. Really takes a lot of uh, skill to make this. I wonder what's in the middle because it does feel heavy. So there's something in the center um, that that keeps it uh, intact and weighed down. So yeah, this is a um, this is a cool little necklace for the summertime. So. Um, I just want to take a quick moment to say thank you to everyone. Um, my channel is really new. I just started right before the new year began. And um, I now have like 250 subscribers, which is awesome. I'm very happy. I have return clients. I've made a lot of great friends. And um, I'm really enjoying this time here. And I thank you for that. I thank you for watching. And, um, yeah, tell your friends, share, let them know that, you know, I'm okay. And if there's anything that um, you would like to suggest that I do or change or whatnot, you know, I'm always open to to any, any comments. I love reading your comments also. I do... Um, always take time to try to answer them right away and uh, I remember my very first video was such a bomb I mean that's the only way you learn and um, someone commented I, I spoke too much so um, hey communication is key right so anyway uh, you gotta have thick skin you don't take anything personally you know whatever so, all right, uh, moving on. Okay, next up, uh, we have this gold tone necklace. It's in really great condition. It has this chevron panel, um, a lobster clasp, extended with the bead, and it moves. There's the back. And... There you go. Very nice. Very classic. Chevron gold tone necklace. Here's another long one. Gold tone. Long, long chain. Chain is nice. And you got this hanging off the bottom. It is. It's a rock. <laughs> but it's a pretty rock. Look at that glitter. Um, let's see. Chain is in great shape. This is like that wheat wheat spiga style, like a yellow gold tone chain. Um, ends in a lobster clasp with a bead uh, at the end of this extender. So yeah, that's a pretty one. Here's another seed bead necklace, brown, like a iridescent uh, seed bead with all these little tiny um, stations of glass beads throughout. So, cute little uh, necklace of seed beads and glass beads. 
Here we have another necklace. Um, faux turquoise, faux pearls, faux, 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 faux. But still really pretty. It's in this yellow gold tone chain with a lobster clasp. It has an extender and got all these dangly pretty things underneath. So yeah, this is nice too. Okay, found some rings that are, are really in bad condition. I mean, just look at that. So they're going to the craft lot. Everything in the craft lot is a dollar each. So, um, I'll size them for you anyway. This one here is a, um, like six and one quarter. Then we have this one. I mean, it's really pretty out here. Um, it's like a gun metal. Mm. And there's a lot of wear, as you can see right here. But, okay, this one is a, um, seven. This one is a, looks adjustable. Um, it's a silver flower with like a peridot colored rhinestone center. Mm. That's what it would look like. It's cute, right? So this one here is a size seven and three quarters. I mean, this one's pretty. This one's not too bad. I mean, yeah, this one's okay. I mean, just uh, some wear right there. And then, this guy. Look at him. He is really heavy. Look at that big mouth. He's got enamel around his mouth opening. He's got green rhinestone eyes. Um, he has a lot of wear. I mean, look at the, all that copper. You see? All along here, 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 here. I mean, if you don't mind that. I mean, he's really super heavy. Ugh. Let me put him facing the other way. Ow, you're biting my finger. Get off. He is uh, five and three quarters, you think? Well, he does. He does have some room in there, you know what I mean? I mean, but he's crazy. I mean, he's really heavy. Let's weigh him. Okay, put my scale out. I'm not kidding you. I mean, he weighs. He weighs a lot. Look at him. He's like 33.88 grams. His head is really heavy. So, I mean, I mean, you know, it's unusual. I've never seen a ring like this. So, all right, moving on. All right, some things are going to the craft lot. This one here just decided to break on me just when I was taking it out. Um, as you can see, it's got really pretty components. It was a stretchy. It had um, all these different little panels. And it has a really pretty, um, I guess it's a faux opal-like stone in the middle, faceted with these really pretty frames of AB, um, coated rhinestone centered gold tone flowers and there's a whole bunch of them so now I got beads all over the table but that's okay that's okay uh, these are lava beads that have a tree of life and some I guess they're like hematite tone beads I guess I'm paranoid of stretch bracelets. I really don't like selling stretch bracelets. Um, 
So that's why I put them in a craft lot. Uh, my fear is having some buyer get a stretch bracelet that I thought was good and it would just break the minute they put it on. Um, these are plastic beads, um, white marbleized looking beads. Here are um, really pretty, like a Tiffany blue bead with gold spacers. Faux pearl beads. I don't get this. Okay, so those evil eyes. I mean, they're so pretty though. Um, the colors and and uh, at first I thought they were. Uh, very first time I seen them, I thought it was a uh, billiards ball. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, and they have little uh, rhinestone rondelles throughout. Here's another uh, faux pearl bracelet and these are in pink and white tones um here's a dyed shell stretchy here's a really pretty iridescent purple power um stretchy bracelet with these um hematite tone donuts what else okay these two are, are nice they're they're polished um just plain silver tone bangles. This is a uh, infinity symbol. This kind of bracelet has that hook. Looks like it's missing a stone right there. Uh, this one here is a weird shape. It's kind of like an oblong uh, shape bangle. It's just polished silver. Um, where's my magnet? Yep, this it's magnetic. So yeah, these things will all go into a craft lot. All right, next up is this um, silver tone necklace with this uh, panel of faux turquoise beads. Looks to have some sort of a uh, residue over here. There is a long extender with a bead at the end, a lobster clasp, and looks at the back, it says NRT. So I'm thinking this is an old um, Avon piece, perhaps. I'm wondering if that could get cleaned off. I'm pretty sure it can. So this is um, an NRT panel faux turquoise uh, necklace. Next I found this tiny little cup and saucer. Um, it's on this brassy chain with a lobster clasp. It's a little cup and saucer. It's on this jump ring. There's no mark. I mean if there was it's really um, no longer visible. Very tiny. Very, very cute. Makes me want to have a cup of tea now. Okay, next up is this really nice uh, silver tone chain that has a lobster clasp. But I like the simplicity. This has um, just a couple strands of leaves. This is not lightweight. This is, um, it's made quite well. This leaf is the biggest. It has some texture. You see the, the designs on both sides. This is a smaller leaf and it has some shape molded in. Also has texture on both sides. And then you have the baby leaf. I think it's very um, simple, but it's still very nice. There is no maker's mark on this, which um, surprises me because uh, I think it's pretty 
um, I think it's a pretty nice piece. And I think I'm going to leave, leave you with this because um, there's still a lot more to go. And I'm thinking it's going to be a three-parter. So I'm going to wrap up this video, uh, part two of the unboxing of the Shop Goodwill purchase of the resale grab bag. So, uh, thanks again for spending this much time with me today. And I'll see you in part three, hopefully. I hope you come back. And don't forget, please uh, give me a like. I hear this is uh, something that would help um, my channel grow. And subscribe if you haven't already. I would super, super appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye.